Welcome. In module one, cloud deployment models, in 29 minutes lecture, you learn a lot about different type of models. And we learned that public cloud is the most common cloud that we use. And in cloud administration skills, this is something we are gonna focus a lot. So in your lab videos, you went through and you explore the Azure portal, and then you also configure some private cloud through Hyper-V. Now, of course, we're not really interested a lot in this type of uh, setup. We're interested in the public cloud setup. And in this video, I am gonna show you how you can get your pay-as-you-go subscription, which is actually important because there is limitation. When you started this course and program, we have uh, you know, put this as an instruction that even though these cloud labs are very powerful, but it's gonna come with its uh, restrictions. And uh, now that's great uh, that you can use it for it for most of the things, but if you really wanna learn a lot of uh, good stuff uh, later on, you learn something from the documentation and it's a little extensive and you have to deploy things. And yes, it's gonna uh, be uh, great that you should go for your own pay you go model subscription. Now, when you go to Google and you type Azure subscription or AWS subscription, most of the cloud providers will give you some sort of credit in the beginning or the first time. So you should definitely use it. And if that's also not enough, you still have to go for the pays you go because maybe even in $200 um, credit, they may not let you do certain things because of the level that you get from Microsoft. So of course, I'm not gonna go through that. You can click on create your Azure free account and go through the information, put the information in there. If it requires credit card, you need to put that. Make sure every single thing is correct because you don't wanna create an account and put your credit card and you cannot go back to that account and they start charging you for certain things you don't know it's running and that will be pretty messed up situation because you just can't get to it. So don't put fake accounts, don't put fake numbers, fake emails because if they start charging your credit card, you will not be able to get it and then you'll have to contact Microsoft and that is a long process. That's just a little warning for our members if you're gonna go for the pay as you go subscription. Now, why do we need that? So let's go ahead and launch this lab and explore some of the capabilities in the Azure lab that you get in this type of uh, uh, module. So let's go ahead and open that. So once your lab is open, let's go ahead and uh, make it a little bigger. So this is where you get the username and password already assigned to your lab. So you don't need to go for a subscription if you don't want to do uh, the custom videos that we're making. Now remember, the videos that we're making on pays, uh, pays you go uh, model and we're teaching you something extra will not be supported by the the premium membership support over here. This is only uh, the support for the labs that are available here. And when it, when it have documentation here, you have to follow that 100%. That's where the support policies will apply. You do anything outside of this documentation on the left side, this support is not gonna be able to help you. So it's important that you follow our custom videos step-by-step step with every single step, same way, uh, to, to follow things correctly because it does not come with support. We're just doing this to help you even further than what you already have in these courses. So let's go ahead and change this settings to uh, pop up here. That's gonna make it even bigger. And now we have a full screen here. So let's go ahead and open a browser. And in your lab environment, you see that it automatically connects you to Azure and Jake is your username and password and you don't have to really put anything for, for getting into these systems. So you see you, you have a full access to the portal and in your live videos, you went through the portal uh, and you can explore things. So let's talk about the limitations here, why we think that pay as you go is important. After your credit expire, you still need to keep that. So for example, if you come over here, you see if I come here, on the left side, if I wanna to go to the cost management and click on it, I will basically see this information here and there's nothing is showing here. If I click on cost management, you can see I can come here and then what will happen here that uh, I'm not gonna get uh, a lot of the things over here. You see cost analysis, invoices and payments and things like that is grayed out. Now, of course, as a cloud administrator, it depends on what kind of access you will get in your company. That may show exactly the same way 
because you may be a junior cloud admin and or maybe you just don't get this type of uh, access where people don't want you to see invoices or play around with their uh, you know um, payment type of things so if you come to the Azure subscription right here and you click on it um, let's see what happens here so if I click here uh, actually you are already on the subscription so I'm gonna move this and click back here so you're probably going to see some messages like it's not supported or things like that so let's go back and another thing you may be able to do like here you can uh, go to the virtual machine you can create virtual machines but it could be very limited type of virtual machine so if you want to create multiple virtual machine and a little bit more extensive stuff that you would like to do this is where it's going to stop you from doing that because in this uh, whole fundamental course that's not required uh, most of the things that we're going to teach you is going to be covered under the labs or here step by step but of course when we are teaching custom type of things and we want to go beyond that then we need that sort of access and these labs are not going to be able to give you that sort of access because um this is uh it's just the subscription model doesn't work that way it becomes very costly and they and the labs will not cover that kind of cost so if you come over here, you see if I click on Azure Active Directory, which we are definitely going to uh, work on one day. If I click on it um, and I come over here, you see how I get an error message. Uh, basically, it says you do not have access. And we definitely need to learn about Azure Active Directory uh, because it does control a pretty big uh, piece of cloud administration. So even though these labs are very powerful, it comes with its limitation. And that is why we are going to still follow these labs is step by step in the module format for example you come here and you go to your course and each module right here will uh, have a lab associated you can click here you will do all these labs and you can see every module have tasks and you should be able to follow everything special also in a azure environment as well uh, you're going to be able to go and log into these labs just like instructors doing it without any issues but we are going to go beyond that in our training we're going to do some custom stuff we want to teach you more stuff we want to teach you more skills and yes that's not going to be supported by uh, any of our support or uh, you know uh, any of our programs because it's very uh, customized type of uh, things that we're doing What's supported here is your education in, in the real course. So these tasks, one, two, three, four, everything will step by step will have documentation, videos, and an actual support for that. I'm just doing this video again, uh, reminding people again so people don't get confused. When we say get your own subscription, it's your personal choice. It's really up to you. If you want to follow these videos with your own page, you go model great if you don't want to follow it hands-on you don't need to get this just watch the videos learn it and when you actually start working in a company maybe then you can do these custom type of things later on but it's really going to help you whether you watch a video only or you just uh do it um you know with your pay as you go model now when i say pay as you go model uh you still have you don't have to worry too much about payments over here unless you start something and you forget to turn it off or you don't know how to delete things yes then it's going to become very costly so if as long as you are uh, doing something in a cloud let's say virtual machines for a day or two and you turn it off immediately you 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 learn the skills and you turn it off and then you learn something else and you turn it off you may get a little small charge for networking pieces and stuff like that but it's not going to be something that you're going to be very worried about the only time you should be worried about is when you turn on a virtual machine or some sort of heavy networking or anything like that and then you leave it on for a long time yes you're going to get a very big bill from microsoft and you'll have to figure that out then with microsoft this, these so these are the warnings that i want to give you before you go ahead and start creating your own account and uh, you know and move uh, and let's say you use your two hundred dollars and then you go with the uh, you put your credit card in there and you say that okay i'm gonna go with a pay as you go model and then they will start charging you for everything you do in the cloud so how does the pay as you go model looks like it's exactly the same dashboard that you will access in your labs same portal as you can see i'm using this and this is a pay as you go model um, uh, basically bought by us for our own private learning so this is just to show you now that even though this is a paid account pay as you go um we are not paying anything at this point why because when we use something we deleted it immediately so even if we had to pay it's going to be probably a few cents or even a few dollars 
but it's not going to be like a big bills. Why? Because when we do something in our pays you go model for trainings, we delete it immediately after when we are done with our work. So let's go ahead and let me just show you and confirm that if you come over here and you see there's a, a cost management billing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on. So you can see right now the amount is zero. And then in 2022, this was the, the, the few cents that we have used. And in this, we have done some of the tutorials on uh, virtualizations and some of the other things. Now, uh, this is the very this is the very important thing when you come over here and you do the virtualization and you start learning things. Just whatever you create, you need to make sure you delete it. If you delete it on time and and let's say you you need to keep uh, a persistent lab for a few days, then whatever you do, you need to make sure you shut down the virtual machines because that's going to get costly, right? So you do something, you configure server, Windows, whatever, and then you shut it down, you're not going to get charged because of the pay-as-you-go model that you have chosen when you are cre creating a subscription. So when you are getting a subscription, make sure you pick the pay-as-you-go model, and it's just look, it's just going to look exactly the same way that you're seeing our screen for now. Things are going to change a little bit with the uh, with the Microsoft, uh, you know, bringing, uh, let's say, Azure Active Directory is becoming an intra, um, you know, that's the name of that. So that's, when I'm teaching these things in a custom version, maybe things will, like, for example, if I go to Azure Active Directory, they're saying that the new name for this will become Microsoft intra. And they're saying, okay, do you want to try this? So we can go to the intra right now. You're going to see things like this. Now, in our custom videos, this is exactly what we are talking about, that our labs have been already predefined and it's done. The documentation is already put out there, but Microsoft is moving pretty fast. And these changes are going to, um, you know, after some time, you're going to see only this type of portal. And then that lab, the first lab or the second lab, wherever you have, do, we have been doing things, will change immediately. So this custom type of videos is going to really help keep up with the changes so then when you are taking this course and program with us in cloud administration skills then you are not going to have too many issues so we are going to use a little newer uh, portals previews and things like that in our videos so then if it changes for the for everybody then of course uh, you will have a better uh, learning uh, um, you know experience uh, from these videos so in our next video, we are going to explore Microsoft Intra Admin Center, previously known as Active Directory, Azure Active Directory. Um, and we are going to talk about uh, just a few other things that you can do from here. And we will uh, explore that uh, using a pay-as-you-go, our own subscription. And in your case, you will be using your own pay-as-you-go subscription that you have bought from Microsoft. And you can follow along with our custom videos in this course and training.